I'm Pasita. Hi, I'm Paul. <laughs> okay, let's do this again. Hi, I'm Pasita. Hi, I'm Paul. Hi, I'm Joshua. Hi, I'm Dasha, and this is a first love conversation. So does she get to say that line the whole time? Every yeah. time? When she forgets, I, I, I see. Okay. Okay, so we've seen questions in the comment section. So say we're going to start the show by... The comment section. The comment section of the podcast, like on YouTube. This podcast? Yeah. Yeah, so... So we're going to start the... Uh, like people just ask questions randomly. Okay. Yeah, yeah, like while relations, the show is playing, they, they just ask okay. questions. Yeah, so I'm going to answer those questions today. So Pasita and I are going to read the questions, and then you guys are going to do that on stream. Why? Why, why, why are we going to do that? Okay, so? like, okay, no, I mean, okay, so we're all going to do the first love okay. question Ooh, time. I'll come out early. Yeah, so this time. 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 Okay, so... Yushindi Malaba wants to know. She says, "Be Josh, the Bible says the words, and the Bible says the words are spirits. So if someone is singing, aren't they singing words? And the Bible says that the ears and eyes are where things enter. So can't the spirit enter from there? I think this is in relation to um, listening to secular music. Secular, secular music. Thank <laughs> you. Is what I said. It's like." Secular music. Because it could be square. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is our triangle. Yeah. I don't understand the question. It feels more like a teacher. Okay, so she said the Bible says words yeah, are I heard spirit. What she said. I'm saying it feels more like a teacher that she's teaching us. Oh, oh also, welcome, Paul. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Bishop Paul. Yeah, it's so good to have you. I'm sitting in for you know, I just... Jer <laughs> Hi, Jeremy. All right, Jeremy. We you miss I knew you. I miss you too. Yeah, I have a new couch buddy, but it's okay. A better couch buddy. Yeah. Okay. Sure. And wow. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, um, I remember, I think Bijo, she said, um, secular music can't, you know, invite evil spirits. Spirits, yeah. Yeah, so the person's asking that if you're listening to... Yo, G. Okay. We're live. We replaced you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. we miss you too. We have to ask the le the less important members of the quad. So we have to let you go. <laughs> you can keep up. You can keep up. Yeah. Anyway, say hello to everybody on the pod. Hi right, guys. Hi Jeremy. I <laughs> I'm so sorry, Jeremy. Right here on First Love Conversations, we don't really care about views. It's all about the Lord. Mm. Uh, we don't. We seek. We seek no honor from it. This is why we got out on the whole program because you don't have the right help. Get a new heart. Get a new heart, kid. Get a get a new heart, kid. New heart, kid. All right, guys. That's it. Bye. 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 Sorry, question. Yes. Yeah, so she's asking if evil spirits can enter. No, I get she. Oh, he, I don't know. I think you. you it sounds okay. like a contribution, I should say. Oh, yes. I don't need to say it. I need mean, to. So, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. That's his, yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, cool. Simple. Yeah. So where do you guys get okay, the so, papers? Oh, um, do you want one? Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Okay, you can hold this one. Then maybe you can give one to push it for so then. Oh, before have... you want others, what am I? Did that read it? Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, and you have to finish reading my stuff. Oh, so these are the questions. Yeah. Yeah. B. George, the Bible says the words are spiritual. So someone is singing, aren't they singing words? Yes. But then that also goes for every single conversation you have. And the Bible says that the eyes and ears are where things enter. So, what does the Bible say that the ears and the eyes are where things enter? I've heard a quote, your eyes are windows. A what? Oh. You've heard a what? A quote. A quote. Okay, I had oh, something quotes. different. Oh, see, I had something different the first time. Because I think that the post child receptivity also makes you receive. Like, you secular music may be playing, but if you are not tuned in, mm -hmm. I don't think you receive. Because it says, my son, give attention to my words. That's right. All right. So if your ears are not inclined, I'll get Wild Peter, Wild Peter. Wild Peter. That's why we got rid of Jerry. <laughs> The spirit fell on those who heard. Yes. Who were here. Yes. Yes. So then, 
that does evil mean yeah. that you can receive evil spirits then from fun. secular media. Yeah, you are tuned in. If you are talking, you are receiving. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Because yesterday I was listening, like, I mean, I was in a trotro on my way home. And they were playing a song that I had heard. And it's a secular song. And I know it now. Like, and I, I felt like I was tuned in to listen to it. But at first, I was just like, yes, I get, I get what you mean. <laughs> do you need to confess? Do you need to confess anything or are you saying something? I, I think maybe it's like a confession. What's your thoughts in though? No, I can't mention the name of. Oh, it's not mentioned that way. Sorry, it's a Nigerian song. Oh, it's just a laying on of hands, my dear. Bring your head, healing in Jesus' name. Amen. Healing. No fear. Has it okay. Question. From Denison Edwards, seventeen o three. If we are if we are saying there's no nothing good in ourselves to love, then that goes for everyone. This is on the self love topic. So why should we love others if there is also nothing good in them to love? I would like to understand this better, please. I'm not trying to argue. That's what people say when they're trying to. Anyway, he's still. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we we love other people because we become more like God. I think the Bible says um, we are changed into His image, and God so loved the world, even though there was nothing much to love. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when I say there's nothing good in us to love, I was saying that part of coming to Christ is rejection of self, because there will be no need for the cross if there was not so much evil or wrong in us. But part of becoming like God is loving things that. There is that is that are not good or that are evil or that are weak. That's why we love others. I don't know if I answer the question. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So someone's question is: Stacy Akutu wants to know, does that make Psalm thirty-seven verse four untrue? So I'm going to read Psalm. Oh, she's still near as the Bible story. Thirty-seven verse. Four. Kind of feel like the producer of the show should have had the scripture for today. I don't know. How do you feel? Okay. So it says. Delight thyself right. also in the Lord. But she got her whole Bible out to stuff. That's why I was sorry. Oh, the scene sound that I'm okay, I'm sorry. Okay. Well he's gonna remember. That's what I was for yeah. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Hmm. Okay. So at what point? So like, I think it was in like, relation to Josh was talking about the will of God and when, you know, you actually want like the will of God is not like, oh, I'm sacrificing what I want to take what God is giving me. But it's like, oh, no, I actually want what God is. That's right. Mm-hmm. So I think she's trying to say that. that God will give you a new heart. Get a new heart, kid. Get a new heart, kid. Delight yourself in the Lord. Think about that. The one whose delight is in the Lord has a new heart. Right. He likes sure. what God likes. He, he likes him. what God likes. He wants God. So God will give him the new desires of his the heart desires of his new heart which is what god wants for the person yes okay if my delight is in god i want nothing else mm-hmm. okay but what's it like the eyes of the lord and have natural desire your own heart desires i don't think so hmm. so like let's say somebody who is delighting himself in the lord and when it comes to choosing a beloved he likes to go for what he can see you know, say who speaks in tongues he, yeah yeah <laughs> if the Lord is your delight and He's the source of everything that you want, I think your desire is to do His will. Mm, I don't know how to couch that. I get that. I get that. Yeah, it, your your whole desire is to do God's will. Mm-hmm. And yes, you will have fleshly desires, um, but your heart speaks of the spirit man. Not of the the earthly man. That's why it says the heart of an unsaved man is is the heart of man is dead and 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 wicked. So, um, I think when you have a new heart, you have your desires. Okay, that's true. I I really get that. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. We are talking about the desires of the flesh. This scripture is talking about the desires of the spirit man. Okay. So delight yourself in the Lord, and the Lord will give you, uh, and the Lord will give you the desires of your spirit. Okay. The spirit man does all it. The things that a young male wants. Wants, okay. In a woman. Okay, so it's up to you to differentiate because, like, yeah, you have to 
be able to know that, okay, this is not what God... Well, that is, the Lord is not giving you the designs of your flesh. Mm -hmm. Okay. For sure. Right? Yeah. If he gave us the desires of our flesh, we'd be destroyed. Mm. He's given us the desires of our spirit. What is the spirit man wants? Completely different for what my spirit wants, different for what my flesh wants. I don't know. Paul, what do you think? Yeah, yeah. I think so. I think the whole point of a will is also to, there's a choosing element there. I will. So you have to choose. Yeah. And when, like, for example, when Jesus said, um, not my will, but your will, before that, he had said, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. So his spiritual side wanted to do God's will because he's one spirit with God. Mm -hmm. But then fleshly, the pain, when he thought about yeah. the pain, was about to go. Which is exactly what Paul describes in Romans 7. Mm -hmm. That my spirit desires God mm -hmm. and the law after God. Mm -hmm. And then my, but my body wants to do something else. So he even said, it's not even me, that mm -hmm. but, but sin that dwells with me. And me. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Cool. Precisa. Oh, like, yeah. Okay. And also, I should lift. So then the people, only God, TF7 gig, says. Okay. TF. Interesting. So, <laughs> so then, can the people who know God know they will reject Him, change their minds, and accept Him? Is that possible? So then, can the people... He's talking about what, are, what, what we tried to touch on the very complex subject of predestination. Oh, yeah. And he's saying that God knows... Well, I was saying that God knows the people that were accepting. Yeah. And that's real predestination. We don't know. Yeah. Um, and he's saying, can they change their minds? For them to change their minds, God would have to be wrong, I think. God would have to have been wrong. About their wells. Yeah. So that means no. Cause God's no, but it's not really about changing my yeah. So I keep saying, Peter, I don't believe that there's some people who are born to go to hell. That's no. I believe that there are people who will reject God. And what causes them to reject God? They have decided to reject God because they have they have their own they have their own world. And they don't want to choose God. What do you mean world called? You go to a university for people who have rejected God, right? I mean, what, what I mean is, well, not the whole yeah. thing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You live life with people who don't want to follow God yeah. and to choose God. Some, a few of them may change their their hearts and their minds and their decisions as life progresses. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But some will not. All I'm saying is, God foreknew, the Bible says, he knows ahead those who will take, not that he's making them take the decision, they're choosing it, but he, he knows those who will take the decision to walk away from him and to ignore him. That's... That's so wild. Why is that wild? But what exactly is wild? I feel about? like it's just like, just like God knowing. Like it's, it's different when it's like someone goes like, oh, I know you do this. With that, it's like... Have you ever had a guy who was in love with you and never voiced it, but you could tell? Yeah. Okay. And you knew he... Why, did he, why do you think you never said it? You never spoke up? Because... And they were afraid that I would reject them. And would you have rejected them? That was as yet. <laughs> you never met. So, no, right, that's why not. So she she knew. No, sorry, the guy knew. Yeah. That Pasita is going to reject. Yeah, but then he could have. He could have. He could have been my God. Like it cannot be wrong. So that's like it. Yeah, it's, exactly. It makes it wild. Like it makes it wild. No, no, it's not God taking a decision. No, but people is God knowing no, what decisions yeah, people will take. take. So they are the ones who take the decisions, but God just knows. I, I don't know. So I believe in it. Yes, but then why does God, God still send His word to them? Like, like so God it, is a just God, so He wants not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to the knowledge of the salvation of that that's in Christ. But then so, and, and the very fact that we don't know means we have to give everybody an opportunity exactly. by adopting it because we don't know. God yeah. knows we don't. So we cannot play God. See, we will not preach in this country. We will not go on missions there. We will not talk to this person. We will not talk to that person. So does God know that, like, maybe some people would accept him and that, yeah, God actually yeah. knows and then still reject him again, like, because there are people that have backslidden. Like, he knows that, oh, you are only about to accept him to reject him. I don't know. It's like, you know, you know, to what, what degree? Yeah, they're losing the backslide. Yeah, levels, but <laughs> as in rejected the lordship of Jesus completely. That's right. I, 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 I can say that. I've had my own hiatus from the faith, a little bit faith from 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 the, the walk. Yes, 
But I have never had a moment in my life where I didn't believe that Jesus Christ was the Son of God that He died for my sins. And, and that's what makes you see. And that's what makes you see. <laughs> so, what does it really mean to to get unsaved? I don't know. I feel like some of these conversations don't lead anywhere. Yeah. But the the real message is one: mm. accept Jesus Christ into your heart as your Lord and your personal Savior, and that's really important. Because the Bible says we only escape the pollution that's in the world by accepting Jesus. I think we already talked about this about as both Lord and Savior. Mm. So. It's not enough to just say he saved me, but you have to let him have control and rule over you. Yeah. Or else, which is a big thing in Ghana, especially in Ghana. Well, maybe yeah. around the world, but in Ghana, it's still Ghana is it's, Ghanaian, it's, a yeah. the, it's, a, it's a really, okay. like, I can be a Christian and then God is not really in control of life. Right. Mm-hmm. Which is why there's such a backlash about this secular music conversation, because yeah. you want to have sex. Yeah. I want to have my own music. Yeah. Like, you, he saved me, but I want to have my own music. Mm. I want to live my own life. Sure. Yeah. I want to do so. All the arguments are: if you're a Christian, can you smoke weed? If you're a Christian, can you listen to secular music? If you're a Christian, can you be in a relationship with someone who's not a Christian? If you're a Christian, can you like? Why are these the conversations? Why is the conversation not? Since I'm a Christian, I just want him to choose everything for me and decide everything for me. Reward rather trying to find out what is allowed. It's not apparent. Like you have to. So well, people don't like that Lord. You have the Lord and Lord and servant relationship. It's like, okay, he's Lord, Lord and Slave. Like a, Lord and Slave. There's yeah. no word for servant in the New Testament. Order. It's like, all the words servants are the word doulos, which is slave. Sorry, Pashita. Sorry, I, I just trying to say that it's like maybe Lord and Savior sounds like it's it's so vague. Like maybe we need to like ask questions on, okay, I like this particular thing. Can you do this or can you do that or not? Like, but the heart of those questions is trying to find out. <laughs> almost like what am I allowed to do that's like your husband asking okay so can somebody else cook for me <laughs> okay can I can I stay in the house with somebody else okay can I it's like what are all these rules yeah. you should know you, what you should know you, you shouldn't be looking for how far close to the line you can go mm. you should be looking for how close you can be to me mm. you should be saying I only want to be with you I only want <laughs> where do I do you never know the beloved no this is also I feel like me dressed up today I just realized that's like oh because you know uh, why not it's because people have been posting no, in love with you it's some, no. some it's unposted on the I so you don't beat that dashing is really beautiful thank you wow. so much don't make me shy <laughs> I said you dressed up to make sure you keep up a poor oh I, I did it I it's feel like just, you did Casual. Look at your preaching today. Wow. I'm just here to receive the word. Hallelujah. I thought we need to have a conversation. <laughs> yeah, conversation, but yeah, yeah. Being blessed. Anyway, it. so all I'm saying is, shouldn't try to be finding out how close can I go? How? Mm-hmm. I don't know, poor. Yeah, I think so. Because, like, yeah. I mean, like, why are we asking God to place for queers to be? <laughs> like, no, but if it's allowed, yeah, cause, I mean, because some people smoke because, what's like, what's the, what's the problem? As long as I actually so have you change that example on, and dear, dear Pasita's dear husband. Yeah. No. That as long as it's allowed and it's not against the rules. It's not, there's no, there's no scripture that says that he cannot stay with another girl tonight. No, that's different. I, why is that different? Well, that's different. Different. Why is it different? If you love the world, you're marrying. Yeah, no, yeah, because so we are married to the Lord. But, yes. I mean, it doesn't mean I can't smoke. It doesn't mean I can't drink. This is kind of what our conversation like is going to be about. So when we are done, we are actually talking about it today. Well, let's slide into it. Yeah, okay, 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 yeah. So maybe if you're talking about it, maybe from the like medical element, like, oh, maybe like you can, it's not good for your body and stuff. Fine, I can, I can get behind that. Way. Okay, so that's fine. Yeah. Like if it's destroying your body, give me fine. Yeah, like why? Does somebody it? tell me why do we need to smoke? Why? No, some people, I, I, I heard that some people smoke. Like because like the in out like outside the country where like in temperate regions yeah and exactly. the weather is cool so they need some. So well, Paul told Timothy to drink some wine first. Wine time first. Yes. So like in that situation, like can you as a Christian say that oh okay at first when I was in Ghana I wasn't smoking but now that I have Japan and now I've gone to Canada and it's really cool there. Like I want Somebody help me with your Come try Jamla, 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 you know what that you kind of like escape. <laughs> like yeah. if you leave Ghana, it's considered like an escape. If you leave maybe America, it's considered like or maybe like I'm coming for a trip. 
to like another country. But like leaving a country like Ghana is like an escape. Oh, Nigeria. Oh, this is a great country. Sorry. God oh, bless my whole world, Dan. This is a great place to live. This is the best place to live on earth. Trust me. Thank you. I've been trying to say that to a couple of friends. I'm telling you. We need to be more great. <laughs> I mean, things are tough. We have leadership issues, but this is a great country. A great place to live. Honestly. Dash, why have you made your face like that? No, it's a great place to live. Yeah, you live here. Are you not happy? Our joy index is really high. Yeah, I think that's true. Can you we like laugh at that? everything. We're able to smile at everything. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. We're okay. We also have a family community. People pitching and helping when things are low. We're blessed. Like some, somebody was like, if there was going to be a war in Ghana, like they can't queue, they, they can't queue, go and queue for watching. So because of that, like there's no good, like people will know, like. I feel like your delivery was poor. What yeah, you were trying to yeah, say was like. like and we're trying to say that they would not start a war so they could preserve the watch in like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sure. Anyway, the point I was trying to make before I was sidetracked before our side track was all these questions seem to come from a bad place. So then the answers have to do more with the heart. Well, why am I asking these questions? Like there's no they, 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 there's the Bible says wine is for mockers. The Bible also says, drunkards will not inherit the kingdom. That's right. But drunk had a king. It was okay, sorry. Clarify. Clarify. Guys. Clarify. I did it. Drunk distance people who drink yeah. and who have come under the power of alcohol. That's right. Mm -hmm. All things are lawful, but not all things are helpful. All things are lawful, but I will not come under the power of any. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay, so now you have people who walked away from alcohol as a way of life to bring themselves to Christ. Mm -hmm. Those people should not touch alcohol because they have a tendency to come under the power of alcohol. Okay. If alcohol is needed for medicinal purposes or for whatever reason you had a glass of wine or alcohol, strictly speaking, that's not unscriptural. There's no scripture that says do not drink any wine. But it does say that wine is for mockers, whatever that is. Right. And give wine to one that is ready to perish. <laughs> <laughs> and you just they want to. Yeah. Uh, Bible says wine gladdens the heart. That's right. And money makes the world go round. So, what's that from here? Yeah, I didn't see there's a phone. Okay. Well, coming another. If you have the fruits of the spirit, the problem, the yeah. problem if you have the fruits of the spirit, which is Joel, why do you need okay. F the assistant? Do not be drunk with wine. But no, rather. Jesus I'm not drank me. wine. I'm not this is what I always say. Jesus yeah. used to. Jesus His best miracle was to turn water to water. Yes, everyone. Yeah, 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 yeah. The end, yeah. the end yeah. of the parable, they say he kept the best, the best mm. wine. God means the best wine. Okay, since you started growing up in Ghana, have you ever been sent wine with your meals? Yes. No, I haven't. Don't drink wine. Yeah. No, but that's a Unless you want thing. to get drunk. Yes, you are. Yeah. You should have. But what's it? But it's like a, um, a celebratory drink, like a glass. Like, even if it's your lifestyle, like to drink. What's the problem? Like for, you know, like cheers. Like I keep saying that strictly speaking, there's no particular law. But the point Paul is trying to point out is that why would you go for wine? Like what's assess the heart? Because we can all argue on the... On so it's about the heart. It's about the amount. No, really about drinking. No, it's not. Okay. I said that. So it's yeah. okay. So it's true. But yeah. like, That's what that. Josh said. That's so exactly what I said. So you... The point I'm making to you is <laughs> why did you the same want to drink wine? Okay. That's more of the question. Okay. Like I question your heart. If you're trying to see how far close to the line can I go, sure. that's the, that's why I'm giving the example of Pasita's help us say, we only lay the bed together all night, but we never touch each other. Yeah. We should be happy with that. There's something wrong with that. Right? Why do you want to even be in a room with her? Like, why? What are you looking for? What are you trying to prove? What are you trying to do? It sounds like somebody who's in love with the world. And was trying to see how much he can stay with the world. Sounds like Lord's wife who's looking back at something mm -hmm. and seeking pleasure and other things rather than God. Mm -hmm. But as 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 far as the question goes, a glass of wine and a glass of coke is there difference? Not really. Both destroy the temple of God. That's right. Coca Cola is full of sugar. Yeah. So both are destroying the temple of God. So as far as that argument goes, I can't see the merits of it. My question is, like Paul said. As I sit here now, I don't drink wine. What would make me go out searching for a glass of wine or champagne or beer or Amarula or Jack Daniels or whiskey? Yeah, you really know. It's everywhere. 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 It's everyw
Oh, I mean, you know. Just see, he's very knowledgeable. Are you saying something? Yeah, I say it's Oh, no, no, no. We are all knowledgeable. But then, next question. Now, I think I'm good. There's this question what are we denying ourselves for? By a missionary for life. It's interesting how a missionary for life is asking what we are denying ourselves from, but we'll answer him. I don't understand the question, but and I don't think that's, that's the whole podcast. We, yeah, so I think we're talking about, I, I forget, Dashin, can you remind Denying ourselves from, I think it was worldly pleasures. Um, yeah, I think that was it. But I feel like your mic is far from a lot, but I maybe wrong. I think she was, I think still the self love top topic. Yeah, denying ourselves. We're like not we're denying just... ourselves from any anything. We're denying ourselves. We're saying no to ourselves. Our desires, our wants, our needs, our thoughts, our opinions, our minds. Okay. Ask and answer. Ask and answer. Okay. Yeah. Next question. Great conversations. I'm loving it. Please, what's your take on changing the lyrics of secular music to Christian lyrics? Does that now make the song a gospel song? This is by Daisy Lap. Well, again, a lot of these things have to do with the heart. So, for example, uh, and now let me start to the historical perspective. Most of Charles Wesley's hymns were, were um, changed from secular and middle folk and vulgar folk and country songs. Yeah, he did. Including Blessed Assurance and many of these other songs from those days were actually country songs. Many times, rough songs that were sung in pubs that were changed into gospel songs. And same thing with Count um, Vince, uh, Zinzendorf. So that's something that has occurred throughout history. That. Okay. Number two, the instruments we play in order to communicate this music were mostly not invented by Christians. Like the lead guitar you're using and the sound mixer you're using. So how far are we going with the conversation? That's one thing to say. Now, if you're in love with some Drake or you're in love with um, Louis Van Dross, or in the end, all together, you guys just out there. Shut up. Well, shut up. Like, I'm just going towards the local side because. Shout like, out to shut up, but yeah, I don't. We're all, we're all, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I don't. Okay, I don't know, but I don't know. Big ups to him. I don't know what music. But okay, let's say you're in love with his music, right? Um, And because you're in love with his music, they're trying to bring it into Christian, and that's a bad heart. Oh, yeah. But if you're doing it so people who like that music can be saved, then... I guess. That sounds like a good reason. Okay. But not just that. If you're doing it because you're just trying to create create music. Because all music is created. I mean, Kanye West was great because he was the greatest sampler of all time. Kanye West sampled everybody from Michael Jackson to... Um, from Andros to... I don't know, everybody. And he made music. What I'm trying to say is many times music is the sampling and putting together of different songs. Yeah. That's music creation in many, not just, I'm not talking about gospel music, I'm talking about all over the world. Like music is the combination of things. Yeah. yeah. So I'm saying we always have to go back to the heart because the law, literally, that's what, that's what we call religion, a dry, dry and empty religion, laws, and all of those things. Uh, rules, that's what the Pharisees did. They gave a lot of rules, but they had bad hearts. That's why Jesus said with, with their lips, they worship me, but their hearts are far from me. Okay. So, I, you know, like, um, sometimes, like, when, let's say, you're trying to stop listening to worldly music, and, like, let's say, there's a song that's, like, really popular, and then you're trying to get it out of your head, but it's still in your mind, and then there's a Christian version of it. Like, sometimes these songs, like, when they are, um, like let's say when the secular music is sung in a Christian way, it, as in with Christian lyrics, it helps you to forget about yes, the secular words that are in the the song, so that you can focus on being a Christian. But I don't know. Right, that's fine. In terms of motive, the Bible says in First Corinthians four it talks about the motives of the heart. So that's fine. I just don't believe in coming up with strategies to solve sin, worldliness, that are not scriptural. They don't work in the long run. They don't work in the long run. How do you switch up 
from things that you love in the world, you fall in love with God. So I don't know if I'm making sense. So for mm -hmm. me, that method of like, I'll use a secular song that has been changed in order to get over. Mm -hmm. I feel like the ways of getting over are outlined the scripture. And they're... Okay, so that... Work. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. But, but yeah, I mean, in terms of is there anything wrong with that? No, I'm just questioning whether it will be efficient. Just one more question. Uh, that's in my book. Okay. Sat down. okay, so because you mentioned the scripture, all things are lawful, but not all things are expedient. So, and we spoke about music. You spoke about music. So we have, I feel like in Christianity, there are kind of like a few like blurred lines. You know, you have people feel like me, but Christian, you shouldn't have tattoos. People feel like as a Christian, you shouldn't have like so many um, earring piercings or like nose piercings. People feel like you hearing, yes, like stuff like that. So we just, and like, what do you think? Like, cause I know that like in Leviticus, there is scripture, Leviticus 19 that talks about not having marks on your body, not piercing your body, but we don't live under the law anymore. Jesus Christ has come to die to set us free. Yeah. Yeah. So are we allowed to do these things? Does it make me less spiritual because I decide to cover my body in tattoos? Does it make me less spiritual because... I decide to pierce every pierceable place on my face. You see, okay, three things. Okay, Paul, do you want to touch this one? <laughs> I feel like I'm talking too much. Okay, three things. Again, I would start with the heart. Why? Mm -hmm. okay. Why? Why? There's no reason. You just don't like you've seen it, you like it. Yeah, that's yeah, you to do that's do a reason. Yes. You don't have a reason like it. Yeah, you see Wait, what are you What's wrong? Did I oh, are... Are you deep? I'm a who are they, um, from, from who? Who are you learning from? The person I saw the tattoo or something. That was that was the last question. That's who I saw. Yeah, well, yeah, this. That's right. In a movie. And well, that don't work. Adam. Adam. Who yeah. told you? Who told you that you're naked? Who told you you're naked? What's the source of this? It wasn't even concerned with the actual nakedness. He was concerned with who informed them that they were naked. When did you get this from? So the question is, what are you admiring? What are you copying? What are you going after? Because yeah. a Christian should have one him, Eusebius, to become more like God. As for yes. and, and even if you are struggling with that, follow those who through faith and patience have inherited the promise. Yeah, pastor, that has turned. That was fine. Is that that's fine. Right. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Is that if your pastor looks like that, you... Uh, that's fine. 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 That's That's fine. 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 No, okay, yeah. what is not my problem? What makes tattoos worldly? Why I haven't worried that tattoos are worldly. Okay, sorry. Then it's <laughs> no sin that said that having a tattoo is not a sin. Oh, like I say, I, my favorite. Oh, that is an Old Testament law. And yeah. Christ has done away with the law when he heard that. Police was didn't put that burden on us. Yes. No. Thank you. God did not put that burden on Gentiles. In fact, the scriptures are, are clear in the book of Acts, I think in chapter 9. That's right. When Paul says clearly, that Gentiles should be free to do everything except, and he gets two or three things, food offered to idols, Those. and a case of fornication, yeah. and that's it. And that was decided by the, the council, the first council that they've ever gathered in action. So these questions kept coming up. Yes, yeah, yeah. kept coming up. So it's been clarified and cleared out. Clarified. Food Clarif clarified. 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 <laughs> There's always to to be clarified. <laughs> So if I see... There's nothing wrong. I'm just asking you a simple question. Look, do you know that wearing a pair of Maggie's can be worldliness? How? How? Because you're trying to follow the world. See, I'm wearing a pair of Maggie's. But it could be, but why am I wearing them? not wearing these Nikes because I saw somebody wearing them and I must have it and I need it. That's all worldliness, a worldly desire which shows an absence of the Holy Spirit and an absence of intimacy with God. It shows somebody who's not satisfied with God and wants other things. That's right. But then if you walked into a shop and saw a nice pair of Nikes and you bought them, there's nothing wrong with it. So who told you you're naked? Uh -huh. There's no problem whether you're naked or wear clothes, but who's influencing you? What's if you are somebody that like... So like it's, a, it's a heart issue. That's funny. You like style and you yeah. style. One way and something. Very really spiritual. That's what you are saying. No. I ban what? I hope. I hope. No. For that James. <laughs> one so. No, James says that this wisdom doesn't come from above. That's right. At least in your own. That's right. James 3. So these are the four options of wisdom or way of life. I swear it's so good. What is that James? So that's very... That's fine. The problem with that is like, sadness. So what, what Paul is asking is, where is the wisdom from? Yeah, that's fine. That's all. It's fine. Where, where, where is it? It's like that. No, Patricia, this is very easy. 
James mm-hmm. in 15, that's why I gave him the scripture. This, 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 this wisdom or this way of thinking mm-hmm. or this way of life mm-hmm. or this style, mm-hmm. okay, descends not from, number one, above. That's the not best. God. Number two, but is earthly. So that's a worldly person. It's sensual. That's somebody who's into the flesh. Or is devilish. That's somebody who's influenced by evil spirits. So why did you do it is more important than what you did. Why did you get a tattoo? Is it because you were influenced by the Holy Spirit? Is it because you were influenced by this world? Is it because you were influenced by the flesh? You are or is it because you demons are influenced? So, you answer and answer to God. That's fine. That's fine. As for tattoos, I have many people yeah. in this church with tattoos. I have pastors I look up to who have tattoos. That's straight wrong with them. But why? If you read up, these are the tattoos. Who knows the tattoo? Reason. Reason. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Revelation says he has a tattoo on his tattoo. Who? I can find it for you. Beautiful. <laughs> who had a tattoo on his back? Oh, maybe I should be saying it. But... I mean, how will to go all fine. <laughs> okay, so what's a good reason? No, but still, I'm afraid. It's a good reason. Like... Okay, no. So, like, who can give me a good reason? Revelation but... 19, 16, on his robe and on his tie, he has this name written, King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. That's why we got rid of Jeremy. <laughs> yes? <laughs> so, what's a good reason to get a tattoo? Who can, who can tell me? Anyone? Be George, you know, they're all we said. Revelation. Oh, the same, the reason, the same as a good reason to get a, a pair of shoes or, or a shirt. If you need it. You need it. And then and then also, let's come to Christian. Okay. Hey there. Mm-hmm. Now, I know what everybody's expecting. Like, everybody's a temple of God. They, is, they give those arguments. I don't believe in that because if you go with that argument, we can't drink Coca Cola. That's right. Because we know it's not good for the body. We know it's not good for We must all go, Jimmy. Mm-hmm. Get rid of our belly. You know it's good for the body. Mm-hmm. We, we know it's good for the body. We must do everything. That's, that's that. I'm not going there at all. But I'll take you to First Corinthians chapter 8. Okay. I think. I'll take you to First Corinthians chapter 8 and I think verse 12. <laughs> actually, and actually, yeah, chapter 8 verse 12. You pick up like a GNT or an NLT or something. Okay, chapter 12. Yes. But when ye sin, so when ye... But when ye sin so against the brethren and wound their weak conscience, ye sin against Christ. Good. First Corinthians Next 12. Verse. Wherefore, 12. 8, 12. 8, 12. 8, 12. 13. Wherefore, if meats make my brother to offend, mm. I will eat no flesh while the world standeth, lest I make my brother to offend. That, that puts a new responsibility on Christians. Mm. That if there's somebody with a weak conscience, don't do things that offends that weak conscience. Because that brother, Phil Paul says, none of you are eating wheat. He was talking to the Jews, he says, none of you are eating pork. And, but if it's going to hurt, and who is already stretched and who is already struggling, then I'm not going to live that way, even though the stuff. It's an just I don't want to say that because of somebody. How something that can be up with this shit? Yeah. So for, no, she thought somebody would be offended. I was, I was once giving a shit. Like a whole range of things shared with the alcoholic beverage. <laughs> I couldn't wear it. Mm-hmm. Why? Because if someone is already stranded with alcoholism and all that, I'm in Christian. Like, or or she has like, sorry, if there's a church member of the church yes. who's watching a pastor wear a shirt that says alcohol, say, oh, then I can I can drink as much as maybe that person has a problem with alcohol. That's a whole different. So how we live as Christian leaders or as Christians that affects other people is also something that needs to be taken into account. Or we're taking decisions. You say something. You say, how does it? I don't remember what was it. You say, how did how did tattoos offend? Yeah, how like how how is it gonna offend someone? Cause if there's actually nothing wrong with it, as we've established, that it's not sin. Very easy. How Very easy? It may offend Pasita. Yeah. How? Because you pick you just sample. I may be wrong, but maybe pick 10, 10 people who have tattoos. Mm-hmm. I mean, how out of the ten people, <laughs> out of the ten, how many on the usual? <laughs> no, but no. So, <laughs> so that's that. <laughs> that's something that you try to say that you think we have to. You are you are you are not only like you are not only accountable to your own conscience, but the conscience of. Well, let's have to Dashen's mother. He yes. her dear mother. That's his. <laughs> if Dashen's mother comes to this church and sees me with tattoos and sees me preaching with tattoos all over my body, how do you think you're going? Isn't it like a cold all thing? Right. She is like she. Yeah. Let's see what she. Go on. She probably just be like, why? Why does he have tattoos? You know. Do you think that she would let you come to the church? 
I don't think so. She was struggling to receive. So then for you, that's in sick, and for your mother, saying, I'll live in a window, there's nothing wrong with that. Just yeah. because that if, but then isn't the problem then coming from them, like, but their mindset? Yes, the Bible acknowledges that it's a weakness. Yeah, yeah we can. We need to cater to that too, but we need to cater to that weakness because those who are strong ought to bear their feelings. But then why, why is it, why is the solution not changing the narrative and changing people's mindsets? It there's actually nothing wrong with it. Because the scripture says so. It doesn't like I house. I don't think it's end of I think it's first line. The Bible says that when there's somebody with a weak conscience and your way of life can offend them, you should adjust your Christian way of life to make sure you don't offend somebody with a weak conscience. Yes. And it was literally talking about Jews who had become Christians, who had the ancient Jewish law of not eating meats um, and, and, and eating certain things that were not kosher. And Paul says, there's nothing wrong with it, but I will keep myself from it too, to prevent myself from offending somebody. That's right. So, so and I'm mm-hmm. telling you, if you were covered with all with tattoos, it would offend this podcast. So that's a big problem. So because in fact, it's not right. You become a missionary and cover it. If ever you become a missionary to a place where tattoo, no, 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 no. So you don't need to go for it. All about her in a hostel in Lagos. She's yeah. a representative of the Lord. Yes. In my he has made us ambassadors in it. Do you think you will represent the Lord well? Do you think that the Lord will be well represented? In Ghana. By the way, in Australia, in Australia, in Australia you have no... Look, I have a pastor friend in Ireland. He stood on stage and said, we need to close um, be, we need to close the service before the, the pub closes so we can have a pint of beer before we go on stage preaching. And it's a pastor friend of mine, anointed man of God. But in Ireland, there's nobody who doesn't drink. Generally speaking, it's, it's part of their culture. That's not the same in Ghana. In Ghana, if you come and say that on stage as a pastor, you are going to lose memory. You're going to offend weak conscience. Mm. Mm. So that's the answer that we have to live. Why? Because our bodies are the temple of God. Our bodies are the Bible calls us instruments of righteousness. That's right. So we are something he's using. Are you there? You're going to I'm here. Yeah. Just maybe I'll read out our brother. This is your scroll. Um, 2 Corinthians 4 2 says, Keep going. I'll just read the last part of it. It says, Commending ourselves to every man's conscience. That's right. In the sight of God. That's right. Mm. So, so part of our work. Yes, as Christians, you're an ambassador that you're representing. Yeah. Oh, you just can't do the things you would like to do. I can ask you a question. Okay. What was the last time we went for a job interview? Or any form of interview? Okay. Hold on, you just went to, where did you go? You, you Rwanda. Rwanda. Yeah, and, yeah, you went to Rwanda. Yeah. Rwanda. Right? When you were in Rwanda, what did you wear for the competition? Um, Black and white, like black trousers, a white shirt, and then a black suit. Why did you wear a t-shirt? Because we had to dress official. Yeah, like, oh, I tanked. They didn't tell you to dress official. No, like, I don't believe told But, no, but told okay, you know what? Okay. No, but like, I, okay, no, I know. Why? I know I'm supposed to dress. Why? Because it's the dress code, and that's what they think. But there's nothing wrong with the t-shirt, but that's what we think. But there's what? But the next day, they are the... Then let's change them. Let's change the narrative. Let's change the narrative. <laughs> let's talk to them and change the narrative. No, no, this, I think this is different. Okay, why is it different? Who because... Part? With this, it's like this rules, like it's supposed to be. Lift it up, lift up the rule book. Okay, we just brought you. <laughs> we didn't. Right. They're not supposed to be. Nobody told you to wake up. Mm-hmm. No one told you to. You just knew that they are minds in order not to offend their weak consciences. Yeah. Give me some instructions. Not to offend their. Yes, they would have been offended. Because because you should have been offended. Leaving your talent, what do you have For sure. to see? Because everything, you know, everything should. Thank you. Everything she's going to say, Paul, it's really good to have you on the podcast. It really is. <laughs> so, if you have offended, then if you showed up in a bikini, yes or no? <laughs> Help us. Yes, yes. Yes, but then, so why didn't you? If I showed up to preach in swimming trunks, would you find that okay? No, because it's not appropriate. Like, you're masking speedos on stage today. No. <laughs> no, uh, well. <laughs> It's just not appropriate. Why do you think it's not? There's nothing wrong. Does the Bible say anything about speedos? No. No, this is yes. different. Why is it different? Because that's for swimming and like that's just not well, we're not coming to swim in the city's rule. Says that's the culture. Yeah, and it, oh the Ghanaian culture says that tattoos don't go with Christianity. Tattoos are generally not accepted. Then there's uh, well look, I feel we had this big big debate in my office. Okay. Somebody was wearing an anklet. I'm all for anklets. I have family people who used to wear anklets mm-hmm. on my on the Swiss side of my family. Mm-hmm. There's nothing wrong with it. I think it's very beautiful. It's very nice. Apparently, in some parts of Ghana, it's considered to be like a completely yeah. No, not all over. 
Not all of them, no. In the north and stuff, they wear pants on their anklets. And in Jamestown, yeah. they also wear beads and stuff, beads and stuff on their anklets. It's a, the, we, we the cars, we do not have a problem. But in the Akan regions, it's seen as anathema. It's seen as something that's terrible. Would your mother let you wear an anklet? No. I had no idea there's anything wrong with an anklet. I grew up watching my grandmother wear an anklet in tour rings. It's nothing wrong with it. So why wouldn't you wear an anklet? I would wear an anklet. I, I remember when like... I was in Neville High School. Right? And your mom flew you also. <laughs> I remember when I was in Nana. I admit. I admit. He's not having it. She needs to change. <laughs> rot, rot. Wow, that sounds low. Put the camera on that chest. Tell your mom she needs to change her mindset. Tell her. Because she needs to change the diet to me. Yeah. Back, back, back. I thought he was going to say that story. So if I wear no. needles to preach today, to, on, on a Sunday, yeah. you would be offended. Mm -hmm. So for your sake, instead of saying I want to change your narrative and let you accept that swimming trunk should be worn on a Sunday, I will dress in a way that can be conducive. You know why they used to wear suits to church? Because they wore suits to piss to work. Yes. People don't wear suits to work anymore. Yes. So that you see yeah. the church also. And the Reverend Minister used to wear bibs because professionals dress every them. single Sunday. Yeah. Professional um, lawyers and everybody used to wear the same collar as a, as a Reverend Minister. It just shows that you're a professional. Yeah. So we also wanted to be professional so that we could relate to their world. That's when we win some for Christ. That's right. That's so if you if you told me that you went to a culture which had tattoos, I would advise you to get a good big tattoo. Yeah. Make sure okay. you see it. I have a sign of God. Make sure people can see it. Make sure you do one here also. And that's it. When I went to Congo, I saw every pasta has a color to green, red, blue, pink, like you, even black is like you dressed down. Yeah. You need to ask. So the pastors I know there who, who were as missionaries there, they dress up colored suits. Hundred <laughs> percent. That we may win some. Huh. Okay. Yeah, so let me ask you a question. Okay. If you came to the church and I was wearing tattoos, how would your mother feel? Okay, you but have why is it not about how I feel since I'm the one of the church? Your mother could come to the church also. Like as a member, we yeah. only already, but what about your mom? What about your mom? She's in their own church. Yeah, but what if she was unsaved? Then maybe. So she, she okay, so okay. no problem. What about your mom's pastor? My mom's pastor. If he came this Sunday with a face full of tattoos, like it's from a South American gangster on the side of his face. Like how would I feel? Yeah. Cut away, cut away and give us a picture of a, a man with tattoos on his face, like a... The DJ yeah. who have been arrested in um, the guy who's changed his whole country. What's his face? Is in the Caragua? No, it's not. Um, El Salvador. Yeah, give us one of those guys with the face tattoos. Mm -hmm. And then, ah, uh -huh, look at that. Can you see? Can you see? What do you think of that? Do you think if your pastor showed up like that, it would work out for your mother this Sunday? It would not work out for him. Good, good. So then do you think that the pastor should avoid having the tattoos for the sake of his congregants? I think we shouldn't judge. Who said we? Who says? No, I think... Who is that... judging? Who is judging? No. Who is your judge here? That you advise him not to judge? Yeah, advise Glenn. Who are you directing in it? Scripture to. I think the people... Which people? Which people? The people that the congregation that would have the problem with like his... You want the people know. who just gave their lives to Christ, and we can, you are supposed to lead the weaker God. I'm not yet saved to serve a weaker vessel. You are very contrary to scripture because scripture says that those who are strong, they ought to bear the infirmities of the weak. So we are supposed to cater to their weaknesses. But yeah, the pastor know. already has tattoos. He cannot clean it. So it's not actually. Like, let's say he had a life before. before. And some pastors I know who have had tattoos, they keep their tattoos so that they can be relatable to the people that God has called them to minister to. That's right. So it's all about the people. So the Christian is all about the people. Yeah. So he's he's keeping the tattoos on but for the sake of the weaknesses of the people. So, so that's it. Like, you are an ambassador. You have to live your life. Like it's like, it's like yeah. there's a flared line. Like it's like, are you seeking to impress people? No, you're seeking to impress God. Because it's like... God is all big over people. Because, yeah, well, you're, you're thinking that people people's opinions of you, like, let's say if you come here and you have a tattoo. No. Wrong angle. You're living your life in such a way so as not to compromise the message of the gospel. That's right. So you're living for God. Yeah. 
His treasure. Does it compromise the gospel? Yeah. yeah his whole treasure that was in the that he will reveal to us the goodness of that we sorry, we'll, we'll know the, the, the riches of yeah. this inheritance yeah. in the sink. In the sink. Yeah. So that that's his rich that, that that those are the riches of God. In the riches of God yeah, shall be for not things. people. Well, we can get more of those people for him. It's Percy Earth, the shame's mom will be switched off because of my face tattoos. Lord, I want to my face tattoos, but I will change my life to be an ambassador for your, for the gospel. I think as well that I really get where what you say and I agree with it. Okay, so back it up with the scripture where you're gonna say then. I think that like generally in like in like people are always gonna have a problem with what mm. you do. Yeah. You know, because you know, you have pastors who don't have tattoos and people have like a lot of issues with them, you know. So, like, if we're saying that, oh, we are catering to the weaker conscience and yeah, this stuff, like, to all the yeah. audiences. And, like, how do you also, like, how do you also then, like, live your life as a Christian? As a Christian, I'm allowed to, like, as we said, like, I'm allowed to drink, I'm allowed to have kids, I'm allowed to do this, I'm allowed to do this. But it's like, oh, because of somebody else. But people are going to think what they want to think. I agree with that you know, also. Why, sorry, just to, like, finish. But why should... Why should it also be that people are also allowed to judge your Christianity and your level of spirituality based on your outward appearance? Because God is looking at the hearts. And God, I think, should like, you know, people is like, oh, only God can judge me. So, I mean, why is like another person judging what we are doing and how we are presenting ourselves when our hearts is, is aligned with the will of God and everything is, is working? Hallelujah. Done? Yeah, I'm done. Okay. First of all, let's pick apart the scriptures you've used. So the first thing you said was, we shouldn't care about people's opinions. We don't. We only care about God's opinion of us, right? Because what is God's opinion of you getting a tattoo if it will offend other Christians? That's the question. If you feel it's fine with God, go ahead. That's the first scripture you use. I seek not honor from me. The second scripture you use, first Samuel chapter 16, verse 7. A man looks on the outer appearance of God, looks at the heart, which is a very key scripture. Are we trying to win men or God? Actually, they're trying to win both. Yes. As the scripture says that I may win Christ. That's what they But they were also trying to win me. Paul says I persuade men. Right? So if a man looks at the outer appearance, then we need to be concerned about the outer appearance. No, you are saying that we're going to cater to everybody, that we just live our lives to please people. No, we live our lives to please God, number one. Number two, we're not to cater to everybody, we're to cater to the people that God has sent us to. So as a pastor, that's what the Bible says, that ministers should live as poor. That it says ministers should be poor. But it says you should live as poor, like we are not yet, yet making, rich, many, making many rich, sorry. So as poor, we're not supposed to be poor. But there are some times when we, need to stay away from some extremes um for the all for the sake of the message so when you become an ambassador that's what we're talking about but like is there a sin against tattoos no is there something wrong with having a tattoo no can you get a tattoo yes what are the things you should consider before you take such a decision number one why what's influencing you which we spoke about earlier number two is it going to affect your ability to be an effective ambassador of god which brings me back to my speedos and bikini points. Yeah. And then if you feel that, generally speaking, with the people that I'm going to speak to, it doesn't, just like in Rwanda, then you take your decision. That's right. It's beautifully said. Yeah, I think so. If you came to see me and you wanted to get a tattoo, this, the only question I ask you is why. And if you said it just looked nice to you, I said, okay. That, personally, that would be my answer. But if you told me that you saw it on then I don't know. And then we Yeah. Katie Swift. What's the girl's <laughs> The girl the singing. Taylor Swift Taylor. When the girl that's what he No we just sorry. Sometimes you do this to yourself. <laughs> Run or I I don't feel like I just upgraded because I don't know who Taylor yeah. is and whatever her name is. Two. I don't know who she I don't even know one song she saw. Or do what? Mm, I don't think so. I'm cute here. Yeah. Hey, who cares? My era was Beyonce. And the touch of Nicki Minaj. Ice, ice Age, right? 
Ou à pouvoir danser dans l'autre, il y a la sauveté ici. Ah, il y a un autre chant. Si Un autre chant. Oui, mais aussi un chant. Ok. Je pense que tu as summarisé ça très bien. Oui, je pense que c'est vrai. But what is your, you seem to have like a, a, a little grievance. No, because I just, pardon? Yeah, go on. No, because I just, I, I don't know. I just feel like, like sometimes I have discussions with my friends and then some people feel like, oh, this person is doing this and this person is doing that. And she's maybe like, she's drinking or she's partying and she has a tattoo. It's like, oh, I wasn't this the person who we, you know, we thought was so spiritual and this and then it was like, Okay, but then how does that also take her away from her Christianity? Like, how does it take her away from her spirituality? If she's still spiritual. Is she? No, 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 answer that. Answer. No, no, the specific example you're using, answer is that in that case. Is she, is she, is she, was she? Yeah. No, Jesus, Jesus said that outward usually reflects or shows what is happening inside. That's right. And he says, out of the heart come in. Right. No trees for me. A good tree brings out good fruits. How can you be good and bring? How can you be evil and bring out good? Yeah. So sometimes how somebody even looks on the outward. That's right. The reflection of what's happening inside. Guard your heart out of it. Come on. And and you notice I don't know much. I don't know. I may be very wrong. Yeah. This is just a personal observation. Yeah. yeah. And chat. Yeah. You have to see it. Yeah. 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 Speak as a pro. Okay. So I speak as a pro. <laughs> and so when a girl is going through a lot, she has issues. The cut Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why? Because this like. They just, oh, wow. it's, they seem to warn that look. Make up by it is, they seem to warn that look. I don't know why it was goes with hair loss. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah. It's like they want to have like a, yeah, I, I think it's true because I've had that face. It's like, yes, yeah, so the glory of your girl is the hair. Yes. Yeah. Only yeah. get rid of the glory. Just, That's just, the French I, I want to go natural and I want to dye my hair. Yes. It's I like want I want something new. You. Yeah, I want to look different. Like I'm. So Paul is saying that many times as pastors, yeah. we have seen people whose hair, 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 hair stars, but extremely edited, and we go like, "What are you going through?" Yeah. And it was true. And it was true. Almost hundred percent of the time. So what he's trying to say is, if you suddenly see somebody who used to say, "I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't whatever," and then suddenly they say, "Now I drink, now I smoke," it's cross for concern. But what if it's just? They've now seen the liberties in Christ. Could be. But Paul's asking that, and that's specific. That's <laughs> bad. <laughs> yes. Okay, okay. So yeah. let's let's discuss the scripture and the all things are lawful, not all things are expedient. What does finish up? Okay. Um, all things are lawful, but I'll not be brought under the power of any. That's, that's all of that. Six twirl. Yeah, yeah, but it's the okay. whole the whole the whole thought mm-hmm. needs to be read out. I told you when you're studying scripture, you need to study the pretext, the protext, and the context of the scripture. Right. Should I pretext yeah. the text before the post, the protext, the text after, and the context is the whole chapter or book or the context of which the scripture. Is. Pretext, protext, and context. context. That's right. That's right. Okay. That's right. Pastor, are you going to read it? Should I read? Yes. Yeah. Sure. From just the twelve. Yes. Yeah. All things are lawful unto me, but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of Umu. Yeah, I'll ask you a question. No, so, like, what does this verse, like, actually mean? I will not be brought under the power of any. We use drinking as an example. Alcohol, yes, is very powerful. And there are many, uh, almost everything is an example. This all mm-hmm. piece. That's the, that's the beginning of the scripture. Like the argument on, on pornography. Yeah. Okay. There's an argument on pornography. Yes. There are three examples of pornography in scripture. That's right. I well, maybe two, maybe there's a third one, but this, the first one is David was watching Bathsheba. Bathing oh, shit. Yeah, that's what is available. Yeah, pornography has live streaming. But that, that's, that was oh. one of the things because, like, Bathsheba yeah. wasn't doing anything because that's pornography, like, when people are like actually doing Oh, really? Watching a woman bathing? So, if, if you saw, if you if you watched a man bathing, you wouldn't be watching pornography. I don't think. If you watched a video of a man bathing, you're not watching pornography. Sound like you're not very. Okay, what is pornography? Help me. So that is like we are watching like somebody having like, sex. I feel like then we don't know my no guys. Good. Uh, yeah, this is that's fine. This is good. We all good. That's fine. No, pornography no. can also be watching a naked person. Oh, okay. Yes, they are they are pornography shows with. Ah, uh, oh, okay. Other. Like okay, I get sorry. My mind. Was... No, it's okay. No, we're happy you don't get. Yes. No, I Stood. guess. It's no, 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 we are yeah. very happy. Yeah, excited that we don't want you to be as fast as enough. We are as fast as we're excited about this. Mention yeah. the word pornography 
my mind goes directly to like when okay then there's also the, the account of when solomon brought all his father's concubines onto the roof of the house and had sex with all of them absolutely absolutely no, mm, i'm sorry yes i did this solomon he married yeah, yeah, yeah. well yeah absalom onto the roof and the bible says and all of israel was watching mm-hmm. okay but then that was a good example that's not a good example oh like that's an I mean, it's uh, no, an example. No, 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 good no it's an examples of it happening. Of course, it's not good. Yeah, thing. okay. But then I'm saying that there's an argument that, sorry, that was just a by the way point. Sorry, maybe I took us off. But there's an argument that, oh, should you, uh, actually, I had somebody ask me, is there a sin to watch pornography? Is there a sin to masturbate? That's the answer. Does it have a power over you? Um, Can you just stop from now forever? We know from science, we know from experiences. That I've heard with different people. I, I have the power. I know hundreds of people who struggle with this. It has a power over you. And to be brought under that power is an evil thing. Yeah. yeah I once met someone who said she was affected from watching Tengen Novelis. That's right. So she shouldn't watch it. That's right. I know somebody who's under the power of sugar. He cannot say no. So he should be brought from sugar. He <laughs> should not be brought under the power of any. The only power that should control is the power of the Holy Spirit. So all things are lawful. Everything is okay. But number one, not everything helps. Doesn't help you work with God. Doesn't help your health. Doesn't help your life. Doesn't help your family. Doesn't help your marriage. Doesn't help your your general well-being. Mm. Number two, all things are okay. But the second problem is it may bring you under a power and a control that you cannot resist or you cannot say no to. And that's a problem. Mm. Elsie, so if you're not under the power, then either way. Or if there's no risk of being under the power. Okay. Because there's some things that don't. That's why. Why is cocaine illegal? Because mm. it has an addictive. It has an addictive power. Okay. Anything that has an addictive power is a risky thing. Yeah. Okay. So cuddling in relationships. Okay, Pasita. Yes. I thought you were past that. Like. Yeah. Yeah, I'm past that stage. This for that. I'm it for that. Yeah, you ask it for kids. Look, guys, it's a tricky word. <laughs> yeah. Like, so. Like, what's that vision? So, so, it's not your same it, experience. Would you say it brings you another power in? Yeah, it does. Yeah, you yeah. think that's helpful? I don't think it's helpful. Why not? Because it can lead to exactly, sin. exactly. But is cuddling a sin? No, very good. Nice. This conversation is so enlightening. Yes. Well, Dasha, is there anything you want to open up about? You have no. two pastors in the... Oh, we have all. And 18 seconds more. <laughs> no, maybe nobody... Oh, sorry. No. Nobody can give us time. Oh, my God. They can't tell us what to stop. We stop or we won't stop. Yeah. Oh, no, no, the person who can close me. Raise your hand. Okay, good. JJ? Uh, no. <laughs> you all do, okay, no. no, I just I just have, like, like an example. I think um, there was, like, a few years ago, I think I, I came to church and I was dressed up and I think I had, like, rings on. I was like, why are you wearing rings? It's just like, oh, it's like, it's like, the person made it look as if it was affecting my spirituality or I wasn't spiritual. So the person may have been funky <laughs> from their background. <laughs> there was a sign like Paul said, it was an outward sign or something that was happening internally. Mm. If I saw something odd and strange, mm-hmm. that wasn't. But you think that's odd and strange? We know it was to me. To you, to with you, it wasn't, and to me, it's not personally, okay. it's not. I don't think rings are on and strange or anything. Okay. It's like people, you know, you know, some places when you take off your wedding ring, like it's a sign that something by something. Mm. Yeah, I don't even move on mm. sometimes with my wedding because mm. I've lost so many of them. I just, I, I don't do that anymore. So I lost my wedding ring on my honeymoon. Well, my wedding ring, my wife's wedding ring, my engagement ring as well, all together. So That's for that reason, I do but I always try to wear my wedding ring, especially when I come when I'm in church. Because mm-hmm. I know that people look out for that. Like, is there a problem with something happening? So when you see those outward signs, it depending on your background, your culture, where you come from, but intrinsically there's nothing wrong with wearing multiple that's wearing. And if I saw you know wearing multiple rings, I wouldn't think that there was anything wrong. In fact, there is nothing wrong with wearing multiple rings. Okay. Scripture explained. Okay. Things have been Clarify it in the clarify. You know now, anytime I want to say the word, how can you actually think about like which are the word? Yeah, and, and, and people keep saying that people keep quoting it all the time, yeah. all the time. Yeah, well, we should call you Joseph. The quote of me comes. 
Oh, it has been good. Yeah, it's been a first half conversation, guys. Yeah, don't listen to secular music. Why is that? That is a drug. Oh, that's on the street. So, yeah. Had a new year. My mom will That's right. You see what he did there? Yeah. Three points. That's him. Snap. Sorry. <laughs> also, put your feet out. Oh, so that we can touch the ground. Just so you know that my feet can finally touch the ground. Finally, so they were in the show. Wait, stay still. Why are you moving forward? So that you can see that my feet were touched. <laughs> hey, good to, good, good to hang with you guys. I have to go now. Thank you very much. <laughs>